Hey, welcome. My name is Tyler with My Computer Works, back again with some free technology tips for anyone and everyone, okay? So today we're gonna be talking or focusing on shopping for a new computer. With Black Friday right around the corner, some of you may have been waiting till this time to purchase a new computer. In the past week, we covered how to watch out for those online shopping scams quite a bit and how to watch out for those website scams, right? So we, we touched on that pretty heavily in the last couple weeks, but we didn't really touch on how to properly shop for a new computer, which is something that a lot of people have trouble with, I notice, okay? So we're gonna cover that in depth today. Now, uh, my computer works usually works with its members to find new computers that suit their needs for our members, right? So we don't sell computers, but we do help our members find a new computer when the time comes, and we find one that fits all of their needs. So if you are a member, already with our uh, on our remote support side go ahead and reach out to my computer works and we'll help you find your next machine okay we'd be more than happy to do that we love those calls uh we love to know that our members are going to get into a computer that they actually um you know that will work for them that that, that is exactly what they're looking for so we would prefer you call us if you're a member and we'll help you shop we'll shop with you though we're not just gonna um you know buy this we're gonna shop with you and talk about what you need and what you're looking for and then we'll find the perfect computer for you okay but if you're not if you're not a member with my computer works on our remote support service side and you're just a subscriber to our youtube channel this video is perfect for you okay so it's going to be extremely helpful to you as you try to shop for a pc by yourself okay so let's go over what we're going to cover in this video and, and the different things that we're going to talk about okay number one will be how to prepare for the move to your new computer, okay? Because you wanna make sure you're prepared and you have a plan. Number two is gonna be what to look for in your new computer, okay? And number three is gonna be refurbished computers. So we're gonna be taking a bit of time to discuss why my computer works strongly recommends buying new over refurbished and why refurbished is honestly just not a good idea. Um, okay, so first things first. What we what do we need to do before we move to the computer? Okay, that's step one. We can't just go buy a new computer, right? We got we got to know how we're gonna move our data to the new one. Okay, so we talk about backup here at My Computer Works a lot, and there's a reason for that. Backup is really important, and it can be super crucial when it comes time to move to a new PC. So. We're gonna wanna make sure that we back our data up to either the cloud or a local drive, like a flash drive or an external hard drive or external um, solid state drive, okay? And while you're grabbing your user data, like your Windows profile user data, you're also gonna wanna make sure that you have your browser user data, okay? Now, I see this go wrong for a lot of our clients here or new members coming in who tried to do the transfer of their data on their own, okay? So you gotta remember you have a Windows profile which tracks like user data such as documents, videos, music, and pictures. But you also have a browser profile in Chrome or Firefox or Edge, most likely that's tracking all of the data that you've been putting into the browser, like your bookmarks, your passwords, and your history, your favorite websites, things like that, okay? Um, that is stored kind of locally on the computer, but then also a lot of it's in the cloud. Like if you have a Google Chrome account, all that data is usually up in the cloud as well as your local, okay? But you, if you don't have a profile, which is where I see things go wrong, clients will be using a browser and they never set up a profile. They go to the new computer, they try to you know, bring their browser data over and it's missing because it was all stored into a guest profile. Uh, there is ways to fix that. If you've been browsing with a guest profile the whole time, we could export your data or go and try to find it in the local folders, okay? That is something you're gonna wanna think about doing in addition to the Windows profile backup so that you get all of your stuff so that when you go to the computer, it feels very comfortable, not just in the browser, but outside the browser as well. Okay, so back up the data. And second, look at what your current PC specs are. So I'm gonna show you how to do this, um, but you're gonna wanna check out specifically your processor, how much RAM you had, and then how big was your drive, your internal drive or internal storage, your SSD or hard drive, okay? And then, you know, if you're a gamer, you might wanna take a look at what GPU you had or graphics processing unit you had um, to make sure that you're finding a better machine, okay? So you can find all this information inside of the system information, and I'm gonna show you how to, to, how to get there. So if you have the search bar down on your taskbar, you can very easily just type in system information here, and then it'll come up, it's its own, uh, item here, system information, and you'll open that, and it's gonna give you everything. You're gonna find your processor here. You're gonna find your RAM here. It's gonna be marked as installed physical memory. And then your drives, you can find your hard drive or SSD size in here, okay? So you just have to go to storage, 
and then look under drives and you'll find that information, okay? So once you gather all this info, right, and you know what you're working with, now the goal is to find something better, right? You don't wanna downgrade when you go to a new PC. You don't wanna get a PC with worse parts inside of it. Of course you wanna get a, a PC with better parts inside. So you wanna take this list and then use this when you go shop to try to improve. And you wanna focus on the things that you specifically need improvement in, right? So like, for example, let's say on your old computer, space was the issue. You were constantly running out of space. You didn't have enough internal storage space, couldn't hold all your pictures, your downloads, your documents, and all these different things that you had on the computer. Well, for this new computer, you're gonna wanna try to maybe double the drive size. Let's say you had a 500 gigabyte SSD before, now you're going to want to look for that one terabyte SSD, okay? But let's say speed was your issue. You know, you got to identify, was it storage speed, the different things? Maybe it was speed. In that case, you're going to want to take a look at your processor and your RAM. If you only had 8 gigabytes, maybe you need to move to 16 gigabytes. If you had an old AMD Ryzen 3 model, maybe it's time to look for the AMD Ryzen 7 or 9 model as far as processor goes, okay? Now, of course, this is relevant to the now time. If you're watching this video in the future, a lot of this stuff is not going to be the case. So um, as time goes on, you're gonna wanna look again at what you have, what is out there, and then kind of compare and see where you meet. Best Buy actually has a really nice way of laying out the, the different, so if you look at the bottom when you're shopping on Best Buy, it'll lay out where everything stands. So processor, is it on the, the low end? Is it on the middle end, high end? Same with RAM and the internal storage. So some, some websites do have these tools that help you kind of identify where things sit. Um, but if you're confused about if it's an upgrade, you could always take the specific part and go compare it against whatever's in the new computer. Check out to make sure has the processor been released in the last one to three years? If you want the PC to stay relevant for a decent amount of time, when shopping, you need to take a look at that, okay? Also, when shopping, make sure you look for what I call the Core 5. The Core 5 companies are HP, Dell, Asus, Lenovo, and Acer. And yes, I know there are other companies out there, and maybe they've worked for you, but these are the trusted and tried and true companies out there, the Core 5 that have been delivering quality computers for a long time, okay? And so these ones are going to be the ones that you're probably going to want to focus on. And then you're going to want to shop at box stores, okay? or directly from the manufacturer and make sure you get a warranty. Most PCs come with a one year manufacturer warranty and you're gonna wanna make sure that your PC has that because if anything goes wrong in that first year, you want that assurance of knowing that you can get the issue fixed, okay? Which brings us to the next part, buy new, okay? Refurbish, refurbished computers are never a good idea. I've seen it so many times. It's a tale as old, old as time. Money is tight, so an individual purchased a refurbished computer, right? Thinking that they were getting a great deal, but that great deal winds up costing them more money in the long run as eventually, or usually, they run into someone else's problem, right? Refurbished computers don't have the lifespan a new computer will have. That's just a fact. The parts are used, parts wear down over time. A lot of times you're getting the motherboard and processor that originally came with the computer. If they're gonna slap anything in, they're gonna slap in RAM and an SSD or a hard drive that was not the originally intended part by the manufacturer. And this can cause issues or lead to issues in the long run. On top of this, we have seen computers loaded up with hacked or unofficial versions of the Windows operating system that have no valid product key. And that can cause a lot of issues down the line as well. And then again, support, you don't get the one year warranty. It's hard for technical uh, tech companies like us to support refurbished machines because sometimes they just come with physical issues and it's not a software issue. It's not something that can be fixed. So these are all things you wanna think about. And honestly, the average refurbished goes for about the same price as a new computer, maybe with less specs, but you need to really look at what you're getting. If you think you're getting this crazy, amazing deal, it's probably a reason. Uh, it's probably not what it looks like, okay? Now, I bought a brand new laptop Black Friday last year from Best Buy for 300 bucks, okay? And it beats the specs of most of the refurbished computers that people roll through and show me at $300. And then I have to show them, which I'll show. These are the specs of that laptop. And uh, yeah, so you can see them. I mean, $300, you just got to wait for the right time of the year. And this, this came brand new. Uh, I got the one-year Lenovo warranty. So you can find them. Definitely deals can be found. You just got to know how to shop. And I hope this video helps. 
And I hope anybody who enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe below to join us on the next one because we'll be bringing you more information on all the scams out there and what to look out for and how to shop and think like a tech. Thank you everyone and you have a great day.